guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Noor. Lovely to meet all of you guys again. I hope you guys are doing well and fantastic today. You will see me in the same outfit for another book review because I'm doing two videos. So today I am going to talk about Elizabeth is Missing by Emma Haley. This is Emma Haley debut novel and it tells a story about this old lady named Mount who is suffering from dementia. She couldn't remember day-to-day -day things. She couldn't remember even making a cup of tea. She couldn't even remember her children but the only thing that she could remember is Elizabeth and that Elizabeth is missing. So Mao decided to go on a quest to find her friend Elizabeth and at the same time while well, she's going on to find Elizabeth, it brought her back to her past where something similar like this actually happened to her and then the story just goes from there. First of all, this book is not a fast read. You have to be extremely, extremely patient with this book. Mainly because the narrator, Maud, she is really unreliable. Not because she is a bad narrator, but because she is suffering from dementia. People with dementia naturally forget things. So they are repetitive, they forget things, they even forget why they make a cup of tea. From time to time when you go into this book, you can realize that there are things that are repetitive, there are things that she will say all over and over again and it kind of makes you a little bit impatient to get to the story. And from time to time, she will bring you back to her past and you can see what she was like and you can can go through the story with her of her past and what actually happened when she was a child. So with that, I really like how Emma Haley writes in the perspective of Mount. Emma Haley put Mount's voice very closely to a person that is suffering from dementia. So it is extremely realistic and hence you have to be extremely extremely patient. People with dementia, they don't remember the present things that they do but they will go back to the past and they will remember everything that happened a long time ago. It is not a thriller story, it is not a Gillian Flynn story where it is got to do with murder or mystery or thriller or anything like that. It's more of a old person story. It's nothing unsettling or nothing haunting about it. I feel like I went into this book hoping that it would be a thriller book. It is not a thriller book. So if you're going into this book hoping that it is something mysterious or something about murder, then you're not really going to get that. What you're going to get is this person, this character of Mount who is suffering from dementia and you could see how dementia affects her through her narrative and through her voice and how her dementia has progressed from the beginning of the story all the way to the end of the story. I find that really really well done. I feel like Emma Haley has spent a lot of time with people with dementia that she could portray the voice of a dementia sufferer through the book. We have two timelines in this story. We have the present timeline where Maud is the 80 year old woman and we have her past where she is a child. So from time to time we will be taken back to her past and we can see what actually happened when she was a child. And I feel like the plotline for the past is a lot more interesting as compared to the present. Mainly because there isn't a lot of things that happen in the present. You will kind of figure towards the middle of the book what might happen to Elizabeth. I find what's interesting in the present is that how Mount goes through day by day and it's very painful to see how she forget things slowly bit by bit and how instead of really reading about her or reading through her perspective you're actually talking to her and it feels very realistic, it feels very personal. You start to get to know her a little bit more and make you feel a little bit more acquainted to her personality to a character. I feel like this is one of the books where the characters will live with you after you read this book and it will make you feel like you have known this person for a while. I give this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. I truly truly enjoy this book. It is such an interesting debut novel. I've never read anything like this before and especially how Emma Haley manages to incorporate the characteristics of a dementia sufferer into the narration. It's a very important book that everyone should at least read because it discusses on dementia and how people that are suffering from dementia it's like, it's a very great debut novel. It's very well written. I highly recommend. So that is all for my book review for Elizabeth is Missing. If you have read the book, then share with me in the comments down below what you thought about it. And yeah, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed watching this video. And subscribe to my channel if you have yet to subscribe to me. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Chill out!